identifying two dimensional shapes. Hello, children. I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Come on, let us see what we will learn in this session. Identifying two dimensional shapes. Today in Choto's class, ma'am gave cards of two dimensional shapes to everyone. And they were asked to sort those cards separately. Pinky, look here. There is a circle on this card. We should keep it separately. Yes, Chotu. Just see, I also have a card on which a circle is made. We can keep these two together. Now let us get to this shape. Pinky, look. This shape is made of four lines. We can keep it aside. Yes, Chotu. And this shape is also made of four lines. We should keep it with the other four-sided shape. And now there is this shape made of three lines. Yes, Pinky. We should keep it separately. And this too. Ma'am, we have sorted all the cards by looking at their shapes. Wow, Chotu. Wow, Pinky. You have sorted these cards perfectly. Look at this. This is a round looking shape and we call it a circle. Ma'am, isn't this also a circle? Yes, Pinky. This is also a circle. And this shape is the Rectangle. And we call it a square. Ma'am, what is the difference between square and rectangle? Both these shapes are made of four lines. Chotu, look carefully. This shape is made of four lines of the same length. That's why we call it a square. And here in this shape, all four lines are not equal. Only the lines opposite to each other are equal. The length of the adjacent lines are different. We call this rectangle. Like this is rectangle. And this is square. Okay ma'am. And now let's see this shape. We call it a triangle. Ma'am, why do we call this a triangle? Pinky, because this shape is made of three lines. That's why we call it a triangle. Then that means this is also a triangle, right? Yes, Pinky, you are right. This is also a triangle. Children, today we recognize few two-dimensional shapes and their names. Like we call this round shape a circle. The four-sided shape with equal opposite sides is called a rectangle. And this shape which is called square is made up of four equal sides. And this is a triangle because this shape is made up of three sides. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned Identifying two-dimensional shapes. In the next video, we will see examples of identifying two-dimensional shapes. Till then, bye children. Examples of identifying two-dimensional shapes. Hello kids, in the previous video we learned identifying two dimensional shapes. In this video we will see examples of identifying two dimensional shapes. Today Chotu and Pinky are playing with sand in the park. Pinky, look I have built this house with sand. Oh wow, Chotu, 
This house is made of different shapes. This is a shape made of three sides. And this is a shape made of four sides. Yes, Pinky. Do you remember what ma'am told us yesterday? She told us that a shape made of three sides is called a triangle. And a shape made of four sides is called a rectangle. Now show me what you have made. Chotu, I have made only sun so far. Now I will also build a house like yours. Pinky, you have made a round shape for the sun. It means this is a circle, right? Yes, Chotu. Yesterday, ma'am had said that we call such circular shapes as circles. So children, did you see how Chotu and Pinky are playing by making different shapes in the sand? After some time, they started making different types of triangles, squares, rectangles and circles. Such as these. So children, do you know what shape is this? Yes, it is a triangle because it is a shape made of three sides. And this one? It is a square because it is a shape made of four equal sides. And this is a rectangle. After playing this game, Chotu and Pinky went to do their school homework. Let's see what they are doing. Chotu and Pinky have been given a picture which is made of different shapes. And they have to identify the shapes in that picture and fill them with different colors such as yellow color in circle, blue color in rectangle, red color in square and green color in triangle. So children, now all the circles in this picture have to be filled with yellow color. Can you identify the circle in this picture? Yes, this is a circle. It will be filled with yellow color. Now all the rectangles have to be filled with blue color. Can you identify the rectangle in this picture? Here are the rectangles. So we will fill blue color in them. After this, fill the square with red color. So can you identify the squares in this picture? Here are the squares. So we fill them with red color. Now we come to the triangle. In the triangle, we have to fill the green color. Color is now filled in the whole picture. So kids, in this video we saw some examples of identifying two-dimensional shapes. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes in identifying two-dimensional shapes. That should be avoided. Until then, bye children. Common mistakes in identifying two-dimensional shapes. Hello kids. In the previous video, we saw examples of identifying two-dimensional shapes. In this video, we will see some common mistakes in identifying two-dimensional shapes. That should be avoided. Today, Chotu and Neha are playing a game together. They have some straws in this game and they have to make shapes by joining these straws. Neha, what are you making? Chotu, I have made a shape out of three straws. Can you identify the shape I made? Children, do you know which shape Neha has made? Come on, let's see. Neha, this shape is made of three straws. It means it is a triangle. Is it so? Yes, Chotu. You are right. Neha, now let me try and you tell me what I have made. Okay, Chotu. I made the shape with four straws. 
So tell me, what is the shape? Children, do you know which shape is this? Come on, let us see. It is made of four straws. This means it is a rectangle. Yes, Neha, you are right. Now I will also make a rectangle. Neha used four equal length straws to make a rectangle. Children, do you remember what we call the shape? Come, let us see. Neha, we call the shape a square. Chotu, this shape is also made of four straws. Why is it a square then? Yes, the shape is also made of four straws. But the shape made of four lines which are of the same length. So it is called a square. Okay. Fine, Chotu. I have understood. This means that this shape is square because it is made of four equal length straws. So children, now you can also distinguish between square and rectangle, right? Both rectangle and square are made up of four sides. But the shape whose four sides are of equal length is called a square. And this is the rectangle. So kids, that is all for today. In this video, we saw some common mistakes. In identifying two-dimensional shapes, which should be avoided. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye children!